take a high level of shots. Now, Jeff Teague being here is interesting because he does pull smart off the ball more when they're on the court together. He's a pull up guy. His pull up on the step back threes where he hit two in a row was outstanding. Those were my favorite pull ups of the night outside of Brown's uh, pull up twos. So all of a sudden you have a guy who can initiate offense alongside him and let smart play that off the ball role. If you have two guards out there, Teague, I don't know. It was Jimmy pumping him up most out of all of the us. Like he opens up so many possibilities for this team. Jimmy and I were, yep. Jimmy and I were both fans. Scoring. Bobby, you need to do holds his own defensively. Apologize for what? I mean, I didn't I'll say it was the I you just didn't expect him to have much we'll, less. We'll there, there was we'll no doubt. Jimmy, Jimmy and I watch. Bobby, he's washed. I believe you called him. I think he exactly, Jose. Good memory. That was Watch. one of the words he used. We'll wait. We'll wait. I'm going to put you. I'm going to put you full screen for the apology. I don't think I ever said that word. <laughs> we'll run it back. <laughs> it was. It was a free signing. It was a guy who shot 42 percent last year and had a high turnover rate. If he's back, if he's refreshed, if he did something over the off season, then fantastic. And we're going to have the apology <laughs> cam. Hey, yeah, you know I love that apology cam. I want some post production on that too. I'll be doing it all season long because I'm wrong all the time. <laughs> hey, we'll do a trade when you finally acknowledge the great center rotation. We'll it'll be like a hostage. When trade. we talk about Miles Turner's eight blocks tonight, yeah, let's do that too. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that, oh, is that really there, fact? Right. Oh, man. Eight blocks. Won't get into that. <laughs> hey, I just saw a stat on the old Twitter. Um, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are the first Celtics teammates to each score 30 plus points in a season opener in franchise history. Look at that for you, Tommy. Pretty, pretty cool franchise to uh, make that. Uh, That's pretty amazing, first, actually. To be the first in, yeah. So, how did they, how did they drop 122 on the Bucks after the offense that we watched here? Uh, for the entire preseason. That's what I want to know is like you get the 30 and 30 from the top two guys, which seems like something you got to have those guys. Yeah. I, think I mean, in, and again, in, in some combination you need like Tatum wasn't efficient, but these guys have to be pumping in between 50 and 55 points a night. Yeah. yeah. There have, they have to be half your offense, but it was just interesting where you got it from everywhere else. And again, without anything from Marcus, you got Teague, you got Thompson chipping in, you have o the Ojale, the best 90 seconds of Ojale's career. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, so did, he, did he finish? Brutal, it? He man. was team high plus twenty two, right? Or plus he was plus thirteen in six minutes, seconds after I dogged him on a text saying, "Thank yeah. God we haven't seen Semi." He comes in and just, right in. <laughs> just the lights went on and the whole game turned around. Yeah, yeah our audience <laughs> went. <Where are> you, <laughs> Dan? <laughs> after our six weeks of Hayward wore off, Semi started catching the uh, flack from the commenters here and. Imagine that he comes out and has that unbelievable stretch. The reason he's on this team is two. You know, it was a trade piece, obviously, some salary in case or body in case they have a trade situation, but also a capable defender. And we talked about this. Everybody on the team can step in, defend. I like this closeouts tonight. I like this fronting. And I'm going to go back to the center and the defense situation overall. They didn't start the night great defensively, as you mentioned, John. But as they got in, the switches were sharp. They drew four charges on Giannis. And that was great switching from Smart and Tristan out there. I think Smart drew three of them. Uh, maybe all four. So all all around. Giannis had, had eleven switch, fouls right? tonight, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So like the, the defense, the defense got sharper as the night went on. They got great personnel on that end. That's another reason I like T too. Game saving chase down steal at the end of the game off DiVincenzo. Dude's a Everybody pro. Everybody on his team defends. Guy's a pro. I mean, he just he, no turnovers tonight either. So yes, so yes. How do you score one twenty two? Three turnovers through the first three and a half quarters of this game. I don't know with how many how many they ended with, but ball control. It's a Steven yeah. staple. It was our biggest concern coming into the year. And at the end of the night, they only finished with seven turnovers, most of those in garbage time. I'm telling you guys, it reminds me of those first few years, man, where it was like, all right, if we're going to be, if we're going to uh, see the Celtics pull an upset against a top notch team, it was going to be like 17 threes or in, in, in 27. Uh, 
or 29 assists and anywhere close to 50 percent like that was sort of the formula sure and but that the, 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 the lights out the but milwaukee shot 52 percent for the 51 percent for the game too you know right. so i mean think that would be enough to close out the celtics but it wasn't i mean obviously yeah. that shot from Tatum and was, they were they were 40 percent from free for, from three the celtics were 45 percent from three 18 for 40 so a lot of that stuff happened late celtics only got to the line 11 times milwaukee 18 so you know it was one of those it was i again it was they 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 shot pretty well but you're right i mean if this was one of those nothing is going in games from 3 it could have been a 20 point loss you're right right and i think it, defensively it, was huge too i mean what four charges on giannis like what other team does that we've seen them before but, three of them on our kids were the grant of the last i one. think every team does it it's just how many refs call it yeah ah, the guy that's, charges that's on point. every the point. guy charges on every possession yeah. but he gets the benefit point. of the Marcus is obviously, you know, number one when, when it comes to that. But also, Grant Williams, man, that was a huge, that was a huge play Put on the bench. I think the league will send a uh, stern reminder out to the officials. Uh, hey, just by the way, Giannis is a superstar, so like, lay off on the charge calls. You know, just, right. just a little reminder. Just looking at the Bucks, like, um, just looking at their stats. I mean, Giannis, thirteen for twenty-six. Middleton, ten for twenty. Holiday, ten for sixteen. Divincenzo, six for eleven. I mean, Lopez, three for four. I mean, all these guys shot, like we just talked about. I mean, they shot so efficiently and just so great. So it is strange to see, I guess, when you look at just that, it's it, you would think the Celtics would lose, right, when you when you look at that. But they got pretty pretty little bench production tonight, and I don't know if that's something that if you're the Bucks or a Bucks fan that you're thinking about going forward. Obviously, it's still early. But, um, you know, you could you could argue that the difference was maybe the benches tonight if, if you know, you want to throw Teague but in there. If as, you as look at maker. the bench there, you look at what Milwaukee has coming off of it, that shouldn't be close. No, I, I never well, I never I mean, liked their group, and this was my issue with them last year. Unit, number-wise, aggregate throughout the season, all those lineups look nice for them. But what are we talking about here? Like, Connaughton's not a great shooter, good rebound. You're looking Connaughton about Connaughton and Connaughton and uh, and and yeah, Dante, Dante Devin just getting pretty good. He gives you a few Even Chenzo, I guess Portis, like you know, but he started. Even Chenzo started. Started. Yeah, I was surprised. Downturn. I don't love their depth. I never have. Uh, yeah. Like it's kind of a lot of overrated depth pieces there to me individually. Now they come together. The coach brings it all together. They run a drop system that's uh, excellent defensively. Usually, unless you're running up against a shooting effort like this, that's something you have to consider too for the Celtics tonight. Is they're going against a team that drops back on the threes the way that Philadelphia did last year. Uh, so you get some extra space on those. They're daring you to shoot almost, and that's why Brown gets all those looks in between too. So a conducive effort to what the Celtics want to do uh, offensively, pull up, pull up, pull up. Now, is that going to work against other offenses? Is that going to be a consistent offensive engine for your team? We talked about shot selection a ton coming into this year. I thought it was okay at times tonight. I thought it was early in the shot clock. Daniel Tyson crunch time, shooting a kick out three that bricked. Some of the similar problems we saw last year. And in recent years with this team in terms of shot selection, uh, finding the right guy in the right moment. and Using your clock, it was excellent at times. Other times, you were just throwing up prayers. And ultimately, your game kind of ended. Your win kind of ended on a prayer there from Tatum at the end. Excellent player who's capable of doing that. But this was a case tonight. The Celtics uh, just nailing pull-up shots and that driving you to victory. And that's that might not be uh, sustainable. We saw other moments where the offense rode some great passing and all that stuff. But it felt more like pull-up tonight, didn't it? 